Hi guys. Um, as you know, I am uh, plant obsessed. Uh, garden obsessed, bonsai obsessed, and pretty much anything that has anything to do with plants obsessed. Um, so I saw on somebody's YouTube channel that you can keep your green pepper plants and hot pepper plants from year to year. And uh, here we are, January 26th, and um, so far so good. Um, basically, I don't know, I just, it came up on one of my feeds as uh, save your red peppers for the winter. And I watched it and it was Geez, it was mid-October. We had already had a couple of frosts, and these guys were already in pretty rough shape. And I was like, well, these are the big ones. These are the ones with the really big stems. Maybe maybe there's still something in them alive. So I quick run outside, find as many of the um, half-gallon, you know, leftover pots from whatever, quick, just in regular garden soil, threw them in the garden soil, trimmed up the tops and the branches and the roots so they would fit inside the pot, filled them back up, topped them up with worm castings, and here we are, almost February. Um, in my haste, I did not <laughs> pay attention to what tag went where, so it's going to be a little bit of a spring-slash-summer surprise with these guys. But they've been in the basement at, you know, 50, 60, 55, 65 degrees since October underneath the grow lights. And uh, so far, so good. These are some sort of green pepper or red pepper or hot pepper. And um, the one guy says that he's been doing it for years. So I don't know how long these things will live. But I'm going to keep on keeping on. So uh, they said to keep them on the dry side. So, as you can tell, they're already starting to kind of wilt a little bit. So, I usually just put them, I mean, we're talking, I have to let them get dry, dry. Otherwise, they rot. Um, oops, <laughs> rock. Um, so, yeah, I wait till they get super dry before I water them. I mean, peppers usually kind of like being tortured anyway. Hot peppers, that's how you get them to be super hot. So just wanted to, to let you in on that. Um, the worm castings, I'm going to say the worm castings help. I think I started out with three or four more pepper plants and they didn't make it. They were smaller though. Maybe they were affected worse by the, the frost. So, here they are. I mean, you can tell they are not super happy. Um, but pretty, pretty good. Really. Um, I apparently have some sort of spider mite or gnat or something. I see some white on them so I will get my neem oil spray and uh, spray these guys. Is that actually like a bud like it's trying to flower? Do you see that? Huh. These things are hardcore. Uh, but you know, first things first, I gotta spray them and make sure that stupid spider mites don't eat them when they're doing so well with my experiment. Alrighty, well, that's all I gotta say about that. Um, thanks for hanging out with me and my obsessions. And uh, let me know what you think. Have you tried this before? Did it work? How many years can you keep them going? Any, all new information is good information. I love learning. That's why I do it. Alright, thanks guys. Bye.